<laughs> All right, I am here with Justin Lassen. Um, I am pronouncing the last name correct, right? Okay, good. Um, now, you are a film composer. You've also done a lot of work in video games, correct? That's right. Uh, films, video games. I did the soundtrack to uh, Clyde Barker's Minami Train, and I have tracks on uh, Underworld Awakening. Okay, and um, you were telling me yesterday, too, when I talked to you, that you've also done some remixes for, for some pretty big bands. And yeah, yeah. Um, over the last 10 years, I've done uh, remixes for everyone from Linkin Park to Nine Inch Nails, Apocalyptica, Second Coming, Avril Lavigne, Emily Simone, um, just all over the world, like French artists, Venice artists, uh, English artists. Uh, Canadian artists, all kinds of artists. It's been it's been good. Yeah, uh, I know because I, I heard some of it. Obviously, they've been playing the music the entire weekend here at uh, at the Rapture Horror Expo, and um, you know what I've been hearing is just absolutely amazing as far as what you've been doing. You. I and that. I know you also have a CD here for sale. I don't know if you want to let everybody see this. Um, this is what uh, like one of the things that you're here promoting, right? Yeah. This this is one of the things I'm promoting. So this is. Synesthesia, and synesthesia is a condition, it's a Latin term that means the mingling of the senses. So people that might taste shapes or smell sound, or it's when your brain kind of confuses your various senses and they, they react differently to each other. So I called it that because I was inspired by um, beautiful concept and CG imagery by like the top matte painters for like big movies like, um, you know, like Golden Compass and you name it, uh, Gears of War, all, the, all this stuff. Um, and I took those images and I watched them for a while in a dark room. I put it on a big old screen and then I composed music that I felt like, what would it be like if I, tr I transferred my body there? What would it sound like? What would it feel like? Um, and I would send these uh, compositions back to the artist and they were like, wow, Justin, that's exactly what it sounded like there. This is amazing. And so I turn it into a series um, and then CG Society and, and um, It's Art Magazine and all these big like um, computer generated imagery um, industry type websites started picking it up and it started getting featured in like magazines and um, radio and stuff like that and uh, people just loved it so it just turned into a really great thing so I'm really proud of it it's cool yeah I mean it it's, it really seems to actually have a kind of a mood and a tone to it that yeah. that really kind of affects. Like how you you know you kind of like sense what's around you. It, it really seems interesting. Absolutely. Um, so it kind of sounds like if you would mix like uh, the darker portions of Rachmaninoff, um, and he's pretty dark anyway. So the really dark stuff with like ambient Aphex Twin. Aphex Twin. Richard E. James is one of my favorite artists. So of course I'm super influenced by him. Uh, and mixing it with some of the lighter um, elements of Danny Elfman, and then some of the more somber elements of Philip Glass. And that's just kind of what um, various people have told me it sounds like. So I've kind of went with that. And I love dark classical. One of my first symphonies was called And Now We See But Through a Glass Darkly. Um, and that's 17 tracks of chamber music that I did while I was in France um, and Budapest. And um, it turned into um, another cool thing that people on the internet really like. So it's all, it's all, and I gave that one away free. And when it's free, people tend to download more often. So that one got millions and millions of downloads, and I'm so proud of that one as well. So yeah, so I try to stay busy in like video game stuff. Um, I'm doing. A, I did a, a, a gorgeous like zombie horror. We're at a horror con, so I'll just say uh, a, a horror um, survival game called Out of Hell, and it's a first person like um, a first person shooter with the Unreal Engine, and it's um, zombies are after you, and you have to get out of this city, and it's really really cool. And uh, it's actually a total conversion mod, so it has it has grassroots. And the guy that made it, Long Yen, is one person that made it. So he did the programming, the art, the animation, the packaging, and then even the guys at Epic. Everyone that heard it said, "Wow, this looks like you had a team of 300 people make it. It looks AAA," and it was an independent, you know, release. So we're really proud of it. We gave it away free on Halloween in 2009, and it's had hundreds of thousands of downloads, and we're so proud of it. And then the music is. Um, 27 tracks of hellish, uh, very scary Silent Hill kind of ambience. So, yeah. I, here's a question for you. As far as uh, the what you make with music, do you prefer actually doing the video game kind of stuff or creating more of the original stuff that you want to put on an album? Which, which is it that you would say you like best? I think um, 
my method for composing has always been like, say, I'll say, file new, got a new template, what am I going to make? And I think, okay, this will be something I'm going to work on for this horror project. And it ends up turning into like some happy dance music. So I'm like, okay, that didn't work out. Or I'll sit down the opposite. I'll be like, I'm going to make a rock song. This will be cool. And that turns into this beautiful classical. Like, I can't tell what something's going to turn into. Um, so what I like about working in various industries is sometimes film can be slow. Sometimes games can be slow. And you can kind of go back and forth. Or you can do like live art gallery installations instead. Um, but I like the idea of like bringing sound design into music so that like I can make ambience or the, the environment around us be the instruments. Mm -hmm. So your environment is your orchestra kind of thing. Uh, so I do a lot of sampling. I do a lot of uh, preset design for various plugins and software for other composers to use. Um, and uh, worth mentioning is I have a loop library. You, you, I'm sure you're familiar with those called um, White Rabbit Asylum. And it's basically if you mixed, if you took Nine Inch Nails, twisted it with Alice in Wonderland, and threw in some Tim Burton, it's it's pretty um, pretty awesome. So it's it's two discs of like really um, horish, eerie, dark, but beautiful and and sad moments. Because I love making like sad progressions that just make um, people feel and get really really more connected. And uh, it, I released it through Sony, and it's done really well. I hear it in commercials, games. TV shows, I'm like, hey, I made that loop, you know, so it's, it's kind of cool, and I'm really proud of that piece, so, yeah, so a little bit of this and that. All right, and one more thing before we wrap up, um, do you have any websites or anything you need to plug? Sure, yeah, uh, my main website is www.justinlassen.com, J-U-S-T-I-N-L-A-S-S-E-N.com, um, and that pretty much um, links you to everywhere else, my Facebook, my Twitter, um, that's my, my go-all, you know, it's my site. Okay. Great. Well, thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with us. Thank you. And I you know, look forward to hearing some more of your stuff soon. Cool. Thanks. Thank you.